Well, good day, tooth. How's she hanging? Holy freaking crap, the FedEx guy is a FedEx lady was here. Lady, yeah. So, anyways, we got a box and uh, haven't opened her yet. Hopefully, this is the right one. Went to the depot this morning, got some hose and some more grass seed and stuff like that. So, listen to this guy here, eh? Holy freaking mowing his grass. Or the neighbor next door has got a guy doing it. She's not well. So, he's got one of these right on one just flying by you know i don't think that'd be a very comfortable ride i don't know but anyways things just screaming <laughs> but uh, anywho uh, we're gonna head to the garage and open these up i don't think i'm gonna have time to put them in today but i uh, wouldn't mind maybe a quick little trial fit or well compared to the other one even that'll help too so uh, anyways uh, oh man let's head her down and uh open these fellers up and hopefully they're the very ones this time Let's crack these fellers open and see uh, if uh, they're all good. It's got some friggin' staples in it too, so I gotta bust all those out. Pretty much the exact same size box, looks like, as the other ones. And I still haven't actually sent the other ones back yet. But, so, uh, staples didn't even go in. Okay. And, okay, we're gonna have to. Uh, this way. Wrapped in another little package. Actually, we'll take it off. Hang on a sec. Okay, we got a bunch of pillows. There. You know what these things are good for, eh? Ready? Oh, ow. That was a good one. Okay, so what did we get in here? Oh boy, look at this. Whole bunch more magnets and it looks like someone got lazy <laughs> oh crap sorry <laughs> my bad someone got lazy we got uh one two three four of the exact same ones yay oh, well i don't collect them so anyhow let's crack this one open now actually just before i do i'm just gonna grab the old one here and double make sure Okay, top two pins, top two pins, wide, 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 sweet, looks good, narrow, narrow, top two pins, good, and the only other concern I got is the positioning of the plugs, where the other one was straight in, these ones are like on a 90. Ho, 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 Mm-hmm. Uh oh. Oh, okay. Ah, oh, it's like opening up a nice fresh smoked salmon. <laughs> they come in. Oh look at that, they're even right. Sweet! Now Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh no, I'm just kidding, everything looks good. The motor's a little bit different on the back here. But that's okay, should work. Okay, so now the big trial test. <laughs> Let's see if this is gonna slip into here easier. Actually, first, I wanna see if it'll slide on the old one here. Um, I think it looks okay. So you can see, uh, you gotta slide this. Uh, hang on, can't see what I'm seeing. You gotta slide this Dewey down on the clip on the radiator over here first. And then she should uh, match up and bolt on. Oh, sweet. She's good. That's awesome. Okay. And I don't know why there's such a huge difference in the price of these things. This one here, well, the first one we got was like two, no, 189, I think it was, or one, almost 200. This was $439 for this set. And it's like, really, it's the same, pretty much exact same thing, only 
the other one, these ones are narrow here and the wide ones are on that side. Like really, why is it so much more? Like, <sighs> figures, but uh, anywho, I'm gonna try a quick trial fit in the car here, but um, I'm not actually gonna finish this up right now today. Uh, now let's see what's living under here now. Anybody living? No, doesn't look like it. Pretty much where I left her. So we got to try to wrestle it in there and it actually should be uh, quite a little bit easier this time before it was the wrong profile and it wasn't fitting and all messed up and and stuff. So, but you can see the new rad's in. It's ready to rock. It's attached to the condenser. So that should be good. Let me just, uh, just got to go this way around. here somewhere find the Deweys oh, I'm just gonna need a little bit of wrestling but it's not bad a little bit of wrestling something I'm probably just not 100% getting right but anyways to fit pretty good on that other rad. There we go. It's done. Everything's hooked to everything, which really is stupid, eh? Oh, yeah, and this stupid thing's got to go in somewhere here, too. It's got to go in so it'll... Oh, crap. <laughs> it's got to go in, and I'm going to have to mess with that after. But anyways, uh, we are locked in. That's pretty much it. Now you just have to uh, hook up all your lines. We have to hook all the lines back up. You know, like there's cooler lines over here, radiator, or, uh, transmission cooler lines, I think that's, yeah, what that is. And, of course, the rad hoses, a couple of plugs for the fans themselves. I think everything else should be good. Just really hoping it didn't destroy the air conditioning condenser, too, when it exploded on me there. Because that sucks if it did, but I think... Uh, I think that should work good. I'm just going to have to try to fight this fella, and it's got to go above the uh, condenser, and then hooks in somehow there on the top of that assembly, and then you bolt this to the top mount on the radiator there that holds it in there, I guess. So, And, uh, yeah, and then the rest of it just mounts together with the big uh, engine mounts. They mount into here, and then it mounts... Where the heck was that now? I can't even really remember now. I have to try to figure it all out again, but I guess really this is the only mount is the top of this thing here, so that's kind of sucky. But uh, it's gonna sort of fit on like that and like that. And that doesn't fit to anything else, so that's kind of stupid, but um, I'm just trying to remember now. That wouldn't just sit there like that. There must have been something else, but I got all my bits and pieces in there, so we'll uh, get that all fingered out. But actually, I got another projecty thing for today, so we'll just kind of leave this in the shambles right now. Um, today, I've actually got to go pick up a little tractor for my father-in-law. Okay, uh, father-in-law called me last night there. He says, I can't get the one blade off you put on last year. I'm like, it's because I put him on with the impact gun. <laughs> My bad. But anyways, uh, he wanted me to come grab it for him and uh, uh, bring it home, I guess, and then uh, do a little service and work to it and stuff. So I got about uh, a couple hours I could probably do that in here. And uh, I also got a tube of cock in here with uh, some PL9000 heavy-duty construction adhesive. Then I'm going to glue these. Holy cow, buddy. Put a muffler on that thing. My God, that must be loud on it. It's like cutting your grass on a Harley Davidson. <laughs> but uh, anywho, uh, yeah, I'm going to glue the crap out of these two boards here. Stick them back on and uh, hopefully they'll be good to rock. So pretty much can tell where they got to go. That one anyways. This one now. Uh... Uh-huh. Oh, uh, I have to open this and then puncture the dewey. 
tall. Uh, now, I don't have a, a hanging here, so that means I have my screwdriver. Uh huh. Oh no. <laughs> okay. Right, uh, now, I've got one nail here that's pulled out of the board. I can probably just. Oh, oh, that's what happened. They just broke. Stupid things. Stupid things get off. Okay. Try to clear some of the crap off. I'm kind of betting I'm going to have to glue a lot more of these. Oh. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, okay, oh. Ah, pretty darn near a whole tube. Okay, it's probably way more than I need, but uh, Whenever I lift this up, I'll be able to lift it up with uh, the boards. So, uh, oh, where the feel? Holy crap! Okay. Something kind of like that. Gotta go down a bit more though. That is really sticky stuff, let me tell you. I think it's already almost stuck. Holy crap. Well. Where'd my screwdriver go now? Oh man, actually I used my knife. I got to uh, let's see if I can separate this a little bit yet. Holy, that's good stuff. Well, it's in anyways. <laughs> Get her set fast, boys. Get her set fast. Okay. Okay. But it's probably gonna be stronger than nails anyways. Sweet. Now how much <laughs> should I? Uh, no. <laughs> Scared. Chicken, yeah. Yeah, I think that should be good. I bet you I'll be able to hook something on there and lift it up with that after. Actually, crap, this one's got to go down a bit more. Whoa. There. Oh, now it's separated again. Good enough. Okay, mosquitoes are driving me out here. Well, let's get that frick out of here then. Holy. Oh, train. Don't see this guy here very often anymore. He's probably backing into one of the plastic places over there makes plastic crap or not oh maybe it is I don't know hard to say but uh, that's the same train they use actually for the oh, what do you call them tours where they go down and look at all the scenery and crap with all the passenger cars they got her hooked onto the these cars today so 
But anyways, traffic jam. We got the trailer hooked on, ready to rock, and we are on the way over to get the tractor. All right, we made her. We're gonna see, uh, see if we can get this feller loaded on the trailer here. And uh, here we go. Now this thing, the deck kind of keeps running a little bit. I'm not super crazy on going up over the my deck with that thing going, so I might uh, actually shut her off and push her up here. Anyways, so there we go. We are loaded. All right, loaded and ready to rock. We'll head her home and get her off, and then uh, see what we're gonna do to her here. All right, we made her home. Holy crap! <laughs> Scared myself. And uh, funny thing, the truck's making a funny kind of noise here. Let me uh, demonstrate for you. that got anything but kind of sounds like we need to do some rear brakes on this little girl now too holy crap oh man the repairs and stuff is just never gonna end boys I'll tell you like I say if you got one thing you've got a hundred friggin things holy man I just wish I could have one day or something I didn't have to freaking fix something. It's just ridiculous the way it's been going. But anyways, I'll get myself whittled into here. Hopefully. <laughs> and uh, we'll get unloaded. All right, we're all unloaded and then put them in the garage for now. I got actually got another little job I got to do right now-ish. It's a little bit of welding, but uh, I can't show you that because I got to go to a guy's house. I got the uh, welder and stuff uh, uh, in the back there. So, uh, yeah, I got to head her up there to his place, do that. Uh, basically what he's doing is putting in some uh, two by two by one eighth inch thick uh, square steel uh, window framey things, and then he's getting windows made for them into one of those, uh, oh, those brakes sound horrible. Not a bad next job. <laughs> anyways, so yeah, I can't uh, film any of that for you, but uh, it probably won't be that interesting anyways. Zip, zip, weld, weld, done, done, and hopefully it works good because, um, uh, he's running it off a generator. Man, I had to think about that. Whew. Running it off his big generator and uh, it should be all right, but, uh, I'm only welding one eight stuff, so it's not like I got a you know the big the big weld going, you know, like structural stuff. So should run it okay, but um, I shall let you know after. And um, yeah, I can't film in his place, so sorry. <laughs> but anyways, we'll uh, catch you when we get back. Uh, just so while uh, we're going here, oh look, they're spraying spraying uh, white lines and stuff here today. It's about time, holy. But uh, anyways, he usually put it on like quarter inch thick. It's like wicked thick paint. Uh, so yeah, as soon as you drive over that, up your car and you'll never get that off again. It's just amazing the stickiness of that paint. And how fast it dries, it really dries fast. Pardon me for that reason, I guess. So it's got some wicked uh, evaporative uh, thinners, I guess, in that paint. And it just takes right off. I think I've lost my strap. Hmm. Better pull her and check that, I guess. Oh, the strap's okay. It's uh, still tight, but uh, it's just able. It's able to kind of pivot on its front thing there because I didn't really mash it forward, you know, because it's got the, the cables and craps all there and the handle. I don't want to mash all that into the front of the trailer, so it should be all right. It's not going to go anywhere, but uh, it's just kind of floppy a little bit. But anyways, uh, yes. Yeah, so I was just going to mention some brakes on the uh, truck here. Uh, the rears, I've never done them. I think I've done the front once, but I knew the rears were getting kind of sort of nasty, but um, all those lines need done too back there from the thing kind of underneath my seat here. No, it's 
yeah, it's underneath my seat here area. The uh, ABS distribution block thing from there all the way back need all redone, so I think I might just take the box off this thing. It's probably not going to be a really nice job at all, but it would just make it so much easier to work on it, you know? So uh, whenever I get another five free minutes, or five free days maybe, we'll uh, see if we can still try to get this box off of here at least. and. Uh, now we can start ripping and tearing that after, of course, I get the car fixed. Holy crap, because we're going to have both cars down, both vehicles down, so... Uh, yeah, that's going to be, uh, get that going, and, uh... It's not too long now, I just pretty much got to button things up and, uh, re-put those mounts back on. Oh, and I was thinking, too, uh, how that, um, radiator mounts there, they, those two big pegs at the top, there's two rubber things that go in there that bolt on. I forgot about them, so... We'll have to get them installed, and uh, then we should be good to go. We've got to get some distilled water for it to mix up the, the orange juice for it, the liquid stuff. Get that poured in, and uh, hopefully she's good to go. So, anyways, I'm really at Buddy's house here, so we will talk to you again when we get home. <laughs> well, I am all done for today. Help my buddy here. Uh, that was a lot of work. We only got about... Uh, ooh, 50-ish, almost 50% done there. We got some more to do, but uh, kind of ran out of time. It's like almost seven o'clock. Oh, should have the video up by now, but anyways. Almost seven o'clock, and I kind of sort of almost ran out of gas. Uh, welder gas. I kind of didn't have much more than a thousand PSI in the tank, so now I'm sitting at about 150, almost 200. So we, uh, yeah, ran out of, ran out of gas. So, I'll have to hunt down some gas, I guess. I, I gas again because uh, I have the other tank, right? But it's, uh, oh, those brakes are horrible. Uh, the other tank is, uh, is empty as well. I forgot to get it refilled or redo or refill it or, you know, replace it. So, yeah. So, here we go fighting for gas again. <laughs> oh, man. So, and then uh, actually I'm going to probably need another spool of wire soon too. It was almost not quite out yet, but it doesn't have a whole lot left on her. So, uh, I got to go do a bit of shopping, I guess. It won't be today though, because everything's closed now. So, we'll have to go do some hunting tomorrow maybe, or something. So, holy crap, this is busy here. But anyways, I'm going to hit her home. I am freaking beat. My back is just absolutely killing. It still hasn't really gotten better-ish the way it should be. We'll say, holy crap, I can go. So, I think I might just end her here today, because I'm going to go home, probably have some some food, and uh, get this all rendered up for you too, so it's going to take a little bit of time, but uh, anywho, uh, hopefully tomorrow I'll see how I can do getting some some gas and stuff uh, and I'd really like to get that fan going in the car and I got a whole whack of funerals coming up and so tomorrow I don't know if there's gonna be much video going on because I got super swamped again tomorrow <laughs> so anyways we'll maybe check in with you sometime or another uh, tomorrow but uh, it might be just like an iPhone Dewey thing or something I, I don't know uh, We'll have to wait and see, but uh, anywho, uh, you guys have a good night. Thanks for watching today, and what in the frick is going on up here? A bunch of construction knobs all of a sudden just decide to, oh, let's go walk out in the middle of the road and stop everybody for no real known reason. Spraying the frickin' road with, wow. <laughs> I guess they still gotta spray the road, but really? Holy. What the heck are they spraying the road here for? Probably gonna do some chewing up and spitting down when they were doing that today when we were uh, heading over to get the little tractor. Gotta do that too. It's supposed to actually rain tomorrow, so I might do that. So I might do a video for you on that if it does rain and crappy and stuff. Uh, yeah, so, uh, but anyways, yeah, that's what they were doing. Uh, when we were heading there and back to get the little tractor. They were, uh, at the road all closed on one side and they had the big chewer upper 
heater upper, spitter back down, smoother header machine out there doing on the road. So I guess that's cheaper than tearing it out and bringing in new stuff. So, but uh, I don't know, it just doesn't seem quite as good then, you know. They're driving over the stuff they've done and oh, it was all like lumpy and bumpy and it didn't seem much better. I don't know, but maybe they didn't have their machine set right, who knows. But uh, yeah, anywho, uh, that's it for today. I'm gonna hit her home, freaking beat. Man, oh man. And uh, yeah, welder worked good actually though uh, on his generator. It was a little bit underpowered every once in a while. If I gave her a good for like five minutes, it would trip the breaker off on his welder. So, and uh, you better get going, bud. Holy crap, don't do that. Freaking idiot. But anyways, ah um, uh, yeah, it was, um, it's a 30 amp, 30 amps 220 volt circuit apparently but it was just about not enough but um, it did it like it you know I have to I think the one window we were welding in the two inch square tube into the, the side of this big container that he had cut out steel container and I think with a, the whole entire window I probably had to maybe reset the, the generator four or five times so it wasn't really too bad but uh, just about not enough so if I had to turn it up any higher like the uh, the welder any higher it just wouldn't have done it so uh, I think I run mine on like a 50 amp breaker at the garage I never had a problem so he's probably pretty darn close to having enough but uh, just not quite <laughs> so anyways uh, yeah so anyways yeah you guys have a good night uh, I'm trying to think of anything else I want to mention. I don't think so. And yeah, so we'll say good day. Anyways, have a good one. We'll catch you tomorrow uh, if it's raining and stuff. If not, I've got way more than I know what to do outside yet. So, oh. <laughs> and then I got to get some gas or a wire. Sounds like I got to get brakes for my truck now too. Man, I got so many jobs to do. I just don't know what to do next kind of thing, right? So. But anyways, brakes is kind of important, so we better maybe get them done. But the car needs done too. Get that uh, radiator back together and the fans going and stuff. And uh, then we got to um, put front brakes on the car because this, I don't know if you remember, but it was always like, as you're driving, it's like, really? I hate these new ceramic brakes. Oh man, I got crap all over me, don't I? Why didn't you tell me? Holy. Man, it's all embarrassing. Anyways, uh, yeah, I hate these new ceramic brakes. Oh, they are so freaking horrible. But there are no asbestos in them, so they're better for you, you know. So if you're not snorting the brake dust, you're you're, you're going to live longer, I guess, because, you know, they have no asbestos, biometallic asbestos -y stuff in the brakes anymore, right? These new ceramic brakes, oh, they last so much longer. Yeah, that's because they're hard as a freaking rock and they're just garbage. That's why they last longer. Oh man, I don't like them, but anyways, that's, that's all I can get for my car, and as far as I know, that's all I can get for for uh, for this truck as well, so that's kind of cruddy, but anyways, we pretty much drove all the way from his house back home here, and yeah, so, oh man, these things sound horrible. Let's go have a look, actually, at them, at the rears on this thing. I bet you they're just freaking trashed. Let's go look. Well, this side doesn't look, yeah, it does. <laughs> it's not very good. But, uh, oh, they're working though. Holy friggin' crap, that's hot. Man, I think I just lost a couple of digits there. And this side, I think, is, oh, it's totally trash. I don't know if you can see them. It looks so bad on camera, but yeah, those are really bad. And, uh, and they're pretty warm too, so. Those are gonna be freaking expensive, probably. Disc brakes, I like disc brakes a lot better than the stupid drums, but yep, lots of fun. But anyways, what can you do? If you wanna pay, no, wait a minute. If you wanna play, you gotta pay, right? That's a big old saying, so. Oh, anyways. Get this thing untied, take her back inside. Yeah. And, uh, Get this undone. So far I like these things, but I'm kind of wondering how long, like inside of here is like a rubber thing. And this thing just kind of snaps in. 
I'm waiting to see how long these rubber things are gonna last. I bet you they're gonna wear out quick. But anyways, I need two hands for this, so we shall catch you tomorrow. Oh man, and uh, have a good night. Thanks for watching. So here's a good one for you, and a little quickie here. Called TSC and Orange Oil. Don't have any gas, nothing, nothing. Called TSC and Allison. Yeah, we got four. <laughs> man, I don't know, boys. I don't know. But anyways, have a good night.